This is an easy one-pot meal using split chicken breasts. Great for those busy weekday nights. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. I usually buy whole chickens or chicken thighs, but it is hard to pass up the bargains on split chicken breasts. This baked chicken and bean recipe is easy and comforting and will keep those chicken breasts moist and yummy. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. In my roasting pan, I'm adding one 40-ounce can of white northern beans. To help add some flavor and creaminess, I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom soup. You can use cream of chicken or celery. You gotta love those cream soups for a quick sauce or gravy. In goes one small bag of frozen mixed vegetables, one diced green bell pepper, and onion. Giving that a good toss to get everything mixed together. You can add whatever veggies you have on hand, like celery, mushrooms, zucchini. This recipe is not only easy and good, but it also helps you clean out your fridge. And now for the spices. I'm adding in some black pepper, adobo seasoning, garlic powder, poultry seasoning, parsley, and some celery seed. I'm not adding any salt because I know the adobo and the cream of mushroom soup contain some sodium. You can add to your taste. Giving everything another good toss. Now I'm adding the split chicken breast that I washed and trimmed. Of course you can use any cut of chicken that you like, and you can remove the chicken skin if you wish. Seasoning the chicken with some additional black pepper on top. Covering and baking at 375 degrees for 30 minutes, and then we will give the chicken a turn and basting. If you like this one-pot baked split chicken breast recipe, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button for future recipe videos. Please leave me a comment below and feel free to share this recipe with your friends and family. It's been 30 minutes and you can see the beans and mushroom soup have formed a nice sauce. I'm turning the chicken breast side down and giving it a good basting with the sauce. Covering and it's going back into the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes or until the chicken is done. The chicken is done and it smells wonderful. Giving it one more basting, removing from the pan and going to let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes before serving. Serving tonight with some leftover rice and toasted garlic parmesan bread. This is an easy and delicious meal. Great for those busy weekday nights and easy on the budget. The split chicken breasts remain moist and tender. All the spices shine through the sauce, along with the great flavors and texture from the beans and veggies. I hope you give this yummy one-pot chicken dinner a try. Until next time, enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.